plenty of action and drama in Qingdao, China's sailing capital for the Act 3 of the Extreme Sailing Series 2013. Light wind conditions did not spoil the party as racing on the 40-foot multis became even more tactical in the tricky local currents. The Olympic playing field of the 2008 Beijing Games, the stopover was crucial for world title points. Here, a less consistent Alinghi team with Morgan Larson on helm just missed the first place, but barely hung on to overall leadership. With the Istanbul Act 4 soon coming up in June, the pack is closing in fast, with the Wave Muscat and Red Bull teams now confirmed as dangerous contenders for this season championship. The full Qingdao report on this edition of Top Story. Plunge into the action with NC Sports. With Olympic, world, and continental champions in virtually every crew, there was certainly no shortage of medalists in the A-teams racing here in China on the extreme 40s. Morgan Larson and Alinghi were off to a flying start on day one, bagging three first places in the first four races, including the opening long course. But Leigh McMillan and Will Howden, UK Olympians in 2008 and winners here at the ESS in 2012, put a stop to that and made good on the following day with five wins and three more podium placements. Entering the last day of racing with a 10-point gap, it would be a steep climb before Ernesto Bertarelli Zalinghi to make it back on top. GAC Pindar with Kiwi Will Tiller, SAP Extreme with Danish duo Graham Hansen and Kostner, the Austrians Hadara and Steinacher on Red Bull, and a surprising China team put on the chase for third place. It was an important accomplishment for Australian skipper coach Mitch Booth and his young crew that with four placement and two wins confirms some real progress on the water. We had a good start and uh, the boys were really pumped up. They sailed very, very well. The maneuvers were, were just perfect in that race and uh, we picked the shifts pretty well, so we came away with a win. We're pretty happy and if we can keep anywhere near the middle of the pack, we'll be happy. Great start for us. China team did have an extra card to play here in Qingdao as a very special tactician with plenty of local knowledge jumped on board with the boys to familiarize with the Extreme 40, but also to reveal some of the secrets of the course. I've been training in Qingdao uh, for many times before and I also got a bronze medal in Qingdao Olympics. Uh, and I said, okay, I'll take a look about the current and since the current's going that direction, I think it's better to go this way in upwind and that way in downwind. He adapted it and so it's really fantastic to win the second race. I'm really proud of the China team. More light winds for the final day of racing in Act 3 and a Lingi had its game face on. Coming back with three victories, including a heart stopping last regatta. The Omanis on the Wave Muscat did not shine, but a last decisive second place was just enough to take home this ESS Qingdao event by two points. Big surprise in third place overall as Jess Graham Hansen and Rasmus Kostner on SAP Extreme Sailing Team pushed back both Red Bull and GAC Pindar crew. Winning two of the last four flights, it's a big achievement for the Danish team after just one year on the circuit. The improvement we've done over the last uh, 12 months is actually a year ago um, that we signed the, the sponsorship with SAP. It's been a, a great journey for us. We learned a lot. We're really having a good time sailing the, the multi on the Extreme 40s. We still think we can be better, so we're, we're still working hard, but it's, it's a great achievement so far. In spite of a huge effort, it was a bittersweet ending. Morgan Larson could just watch and do little from his first place vantage point as Leigh McMillan squeezed in and placed the second for the overall event win. With five more acts to go in the series, Alinghi's early supremacy is now in serious jeopardy. Nail biter, for sure. Uh, the last race, you know, there was four teams that could win and, and a lot of uh, variables in between. 
Uh, the start was kind of even. SAP was right in there. Pindar was in there. The wave had a little bit of control of the situation. And then SAP did a you know, fantastic job and extended out ahead. But uh, you know, the wave closed up on them and slowed them a little bit. Gave us an opportunity on the last beat. So there was a lot, a lot happening. But uh, you know, the guys on board did a great job. The Wave Muscat really pulled off a miracle here in China, making it two years in a row. Straight from the iconic Isle of Wight, Britain, Leigh Macmillan, class of 1980, puts a substantial down payment on the championship. No, it was uh, a real battle today. Um, Morgan, uh, we, we had a good start and got extended our lead, and uh, and, um, and he got a, the better of us on a couple and, and, and engaged us in one of the races and gave us a penalty, which was uh, you know very unexpected and it really created a, a big uh, fight between us for the rest of the day and um, you know, we were trying to get some penalties on them and vice versa um, so it was a really, really tough day. We're extremely relieved to come out on top. This day was intense, frustrating at times but um, exhilarating to win at the end. For more high-end sailing on the 40-footers, check your Nautical Channel programming grid for the upcoming special half-hour broadcast on the Extreme Sailing Series. Take the front row seats at the Qingdao and Istanbul events. Get on! Hello, I'm Vivian reporting from Qingdao, the sailing capital of China. To watch more extreme sailing series, stay with us on Nautical Channel. NC Sports, plunge into the action.